I see myself probably going to college and after that probably married and have a kid and that kind of stuff. Such a good boy. How's your day? I don't know. Okay. Do you have homework? No. No? It's just Kelsey and I, our dog Oscar and our three cats. Dad's not my life. I used to be scared that maybe sometimes he would come and get me, but not anymore. The past year it's been really hard. I had a grandpa that I was really close to and he always helped me out with my work. Always made me feel like I wanted to go to school because I was really close to him. And actually kind of after he died, that's probably one of the reasons why I didn't want to go back because he wasn't there. But I know if he's looking down on me and missing school, he wouldn't want that. When I met her in the fall, she was a girl who was experiencing feeling sick a lot. And she had a flow going of being absent for many more days than she really needed to be. And in the last five years, she's had four major surgeries. And it always happened <laughs> right as school started. I didn't really feel like coming back, so I used to staying at home. And I didn't want to wake up early. What are we doing today? Well, we're working on uh, some stuff with cylinders, and I'll show you what we're going to do. So. Anywhere from four weeks to six weeks, she would be out of school because of these surgeries. And, you know, I would communicate with the teachers, but the teachers kind of like just would kick me to the curb, wouldn't give me the stuff I needed for her. So then when it was time for her to go back to school, she was over anxious. I mean, she would, you know, have severe anxiety or panic attack because she was walking into a classroom she didn't know nothing about. She came to me as somebody who missed 104 days of school last year and had averaged missing about 75 days of school uh, since she was in first or second grade every year. If Laura um, Dale hadn't, you know, brought this to the surface and let me see and, you know, wanted her to graduate just as much as I do, you know, we wouldn't be here today. It's really important to be helpful and non-judgmental with the families and treat them as you yourself would want to be treated, really respectfully. And with Kelsey, I think that was key because her mom had not felt good about how things had gone here in the past. I want to look at this on the computer to point this out to you, my dear. You missed 43 days, 37 days, 78, 75, and then last year, 114. It was an unusually large amount. Mm -hmm. She intervened, said that um, my failing grades, and was wondering why, and uh, telling me what I could do to get different, like online schooling and stuff. And, what would happen if I failed and stuff. So with Kelsey, I can look at first semester, how she did in her classes, and then I can also look at how she did second semester with her grades. And I can also look at her attendance, and we're up in about above 40 days of school that she missed first semester. I didn't really know how many days she missed. I mean, it's like I knew, but I didn't know with the numbers in front of me. You know, so once the, the numbers were in front of me and where she stood at grade-wise, it was overwhelming. You see that her absences have dropped way off now over the course of these months. It's really good to sit with a student and look at this stuff so that they can target things that they are going to be working on. So now you're just missing the minimum number of days. You still got health issues but they don't, they're not gonna interfere with your graduation. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of boring at home, just doing the same things, and then my friends missed me, so I started coming more for my friends to hang out with them. If I get all the work done, I can have free time, so it's easier then. I can do what I want, well, sorta. Okay, then the second piece of the formula is this piece here. You need to be able to allow students to turn it around. And you can't underestimate when a kid might want to do that. And it's important for staff to allow students to do that. So SA is what? Surface area. Right. You don't want to end up like people who can't get a job, who don't have a degree or college degree, then. This one isn't so bad, right? Because you can just plug it into your calculator. There can be different classes to do, like I don't like regular PE. They have an all-girls weight training class here, so 
it's only girls, which is nicer when you weight lift, so it's better than doing regular gym. It's easy to humiliate students without meaning to, and sometimes I think staff are moving so fast and they get irritated with kids who are not excelling in their classes. Be nice, try to help them out, don't have a snobby attitude and start yelling and being aggressive because then you'll make the student not want to come. One of the turnarounds was a meeting that we had with several staff members here and the mom. It was good, really good, amazing, because Kelsey's missed a lot of school the past four years and nobody's ever brought me in. Well, we communicated. They have an orientation August 22nd. My mom always got on me for not going to school and yelling at me and stuff, so if I come to school then she won't do that. We got on a schedule every day where I get her up at 6.45 and she can't ask me to stay home. She just has to get up and get ready for school because in the past it would be excuse after excuse. So now she just gets up, doesn't say anything, and then at the end of the month, if she's good without asking me, then I'll take her to like Target and she can buy a CD. Times 3.14. Correct. All the teacher said when she's there, she gives 110%. She does all her homework there. She gets it done. She's a good motivator for other people. So what do we have for R? Five. Five, right. Get your high school done. And you know, once it's over, it's over. You don't have to do it. So just try to get it done, do your best and get it done and over with, and then there you go.